Okay, guys. Guys, we are going to calculate the concentration of these things. Eh? Simple. Always remember concentration. Formula dear M equals to mole bahagi dengan molar mass. Okay, bagus. Eh, molar mass apa benda? Volume. Sorry. Volume. Okay. So, the problem is volume is equals to 200 ml, which is 0 0.2 dm cubic. Yeah, betul. I show the calculation. Eh? And the mole is equals to, equals to apa ya? Mass over molar mass. Jisim bahagi jisim molar. Okay, molar. Molar mass. Okay. Berapa molar mass untuk ni eh? NACL, molar mass. 23 plus 35.5. Then you get 58.5 gram over mole. Then you have the mass. The mass is 20 gram over 55.5 gram over mole. Guys, berapa mole dia? Berapa mole dia? It is 0 0.34 mole. Okay. Then, then you look at here. You already know the mole. You already know the volume. So you can calculate <coughs> the mole will be 0 0.34 and divided by 0 0.2 dm cubic. Okay, give me the final answer. 1.7 molar. Sangat, sangat pekat. Sangat, sangat pekat. <coughs> Guys, are you okay with this calculation? Are you okay with the calculation? Dia memang neutral. We are not talking about acid and base. I'm teaching you about the concentration. Sekarang kita bukan cerita pasal acid, bukan cerita pasal alkali. Saya tengah ajar kamu cara nak kira kepekatan. Siapa yang dah? Cepat. Senang padam. <coughs> okay, very good. Guys, do this for me. Hurry up. 0 0.1 gram NaOH solid in 250 cm cubic. And A23, O16, H1. Do it now. Kita buat sama-sama eh. You do it together. Mula. <coughs> you orang check jawapan juga eh. Mm-hmm. gram over mole. Okay, ada yang nak pandai. Very good. Very good. Most of you dah dapat. 0 0.1 gram divided by 40 gram over mole. And what is the answer? 0 0.1 divided by 40. 0 0.1 divided by 40. Dapat berapa ya? 
0.0025 mole you substitute these two here then you get 0 0.0025 over 0 0.25 this is your mole this is your dm cubic then what do you get guys final answer 0 0.0 one molar sangat sangat chai sangat sangat chai very diluted very diluted only 0 0.01 molar very diluted NaOH is what sodium hydroxide Sodium hydroxide. It is a type of alkaline. Sebab apa dia alkaline? Dia ada OH. Dia ada OH. Maka dia adalah alkaline. OH minus. Faham? Guys. Mari, I give you another interesting fact. Satu benda yang best. Siapa pernah admit dekat hospital kat sini? Anyone admitted in hospital? Wow, Farah. Very good. Most of you, eh, kenapa korang ni sangat banyak sakit? When you admitted in hospital, the doctor or the nurse will give you what? Dia akan bagi apa? Dia masukkan air dekat slime bottle tu. Dia bagi bag air tu kan, dia drip. Dia drip kan. Korang pernah tak tengok dekat bag plastik drip tu, dia akan tulis macam ni tau. 0.9% NaCl. Pernah tengok tak benda ni? Pernah tengok tak? Ha, inilah concentration. Inilah concentration garam yang pernah masuk dalam badan kamu. Dia masukkan garam, concentration, concentration garam, electrolyte into your body to avoid you from too weak. Dia masukkan air garam, air garam yang pekat supaya kamu tak rasa penat. Lawyer, whatever going on. Baca je tak larat nak tanya eh. Now you are a chemistry student. When you are chemistry student, you must alert with whatever chemical you are using. Starting from today, use chemistry in your life. Use chemistry in your life. Rupa-rupanya drip tu, dia letakkan ini. Guys, ada satu lagi. Guys, ini adalah electrolyte. Okay. Ada seorang yang terlalu lemah, doktor tak bagi ini tau. Dia akan bagi 1%. One percent. <laughs> pernah nampak tak? C612O6 dekat bag air tu. Ya, yeah, dia tengah naikkan air gula ke dalam badan kamu. So, lain kali, kau orang te eh, gula kan bagi tenaga. Gula kan bagi tenaga. Kalau kau dah lembik sangat, dia bagilah air gula. Kalau kau datang kat situ, terlalu banyak ciri bere, diarrhea, dan dia bagilah air garam. Diarrhea, okay, it's mean guys, it's mean guys, it's depend on you. So starting from now, when you go to hospital, look carefully the uh, drips. What they are giving, a water, a, uh, a solution, what, uh, sugar or salt. Okay, di ha nush ada soalan. 10 molar, for your information, is too concentrated. Kalau 10 molar tu terlalu pekat, dia susah nak buat 10 molar. Kecuali dia jadi super saturated. Susah. 
Tak, dia tak sama. Dia lain ubat. So guys, do you notice or not? Chemistry is actually in your life. Okay, now, siapa nak salin, hurry up. I'm going to change to the next part. Wow, Z- six, 0.6% sucrose tu pekat. Sangat manis. Okay. Saya padam. Saya padam. So guys, we come back to our original topic. We are in pH scale. Skala pH. Dia ada kosong. Sampai tujuh. Now I hope you understand. Dari tujuh sampai ke empat belas. And you must remember when I say seven, this is neutral. Dia neutral. Contoh neutral, water. H2O. Kenapa water is neutral? Saya dah cakap tadi, kenapa water is neutral? What is water actually? It is acid. Plus alkaline give you water. Dalam kes yang lain, it is H plus and OH minus give you what uh, H2O. When I say neutral, apa maksud neutral? I have explained about this. The yes, concentration is balanced. Dia seimbang. Balance. Kalau dia balance, apa maksud balance? Apa maksud balance? Apa maksud balance? <laughs> balance equal. Baguslah. Translate. <coughs> Maksudnya, dalam air ini, jumlah H plus kepekatan H plus sama dengan kepekatan OH minus. Ini yang saya nak sampaikan. Ya, kepekatan seimbang. Ya, dia mempunyai kepekatan yang seimbang. Very good. <coughs> okay, done. Done. So guys, when you are going down over here, this is your acid. Below 7 is acid. Above 7 is alkaline. Alkaline. Guys, bawah 7 acid, atas 7 adalah alkali. Boleh tak saya tanya kamu satu benda? Bila saya cakap acid, apa maksud acid? Apa maksud asid? Tell me. Tak, tak. Jangan bagi saya sifat asid. I'm asking you, apa maksud asid? Okay, guys. Kalau saya tanya, neutral. Apa maksud neutral? Apa maksud neutral? H plus and OH minus is same. Yes or no? Neutral. Dia sama kan? Tapi, kalau dia asid, dia sama ke tak sama? Kalau dia asid, adakah dia seimbang? Is that equivalent? No. Jadi, maksudnya, dia ada lagi banyak H plus berbanding dengan OH minus. Sebab itulah dia dipanggil sebagai asid. Sebab tu dia dipanggil asid. Sekarang ni, apa tu alkaline? Apa tu alkaline? <coughs> apa tu alkaline? Maksud alkaline? Yes, you are good. Very good. You have more OH- as compared to H+. Inilah jawapan anda. Inilah jawapan anda. <coughs> Fuck. 
Faham tak? Is this crystal clear for you? Is this crystal clear? Very good. Okay, saya buka sekejap Q&A. Q&A. Okay, sekarang boleh tanya soalan. Siapa nak uh, unmute and tanya soalan pun boleh. Saya akan layan. Jangan risau. Saya tak marah. Cepat. Okay. Sarah ada soalan eh. Kita layan sekejap Sarah. Okay. Yes, Sarah. If the question are too long, you can unmute and ask me. Yes. OH must always... OH- minus is always referred to alkaline. Yes. So, kalau tulis OH- minus, tak, tak, uh, kat mana ni, Bart, uh, Bartisha? Bartisha? So, kalau tulis OH- minus, kurang dekat alkaline. Kalau dekat alkaline, Bartisha, you kena ingat OH- minus yang banyak. Oh, kalau kat asid, betul je. Kau kena ingat OH plus yang banyak. Betul? Okay, next. <coughs> so, the log one is about what? Okay, Jeremiah, about the log, I will explain a bit later. Now, you should understand about the concentration first. So, uh, the H plus, plus, H plus minus effect tak? Uh, apa maksud kamu eh? Uh, kena tulis OH minus H plus. Kena tulis. Kena tulis. Next. Ada lagi soalan? So yang negatif semua alkaline. Bukan semua negatif alkaline. No, no, no. Sarah, ingat. Yang alkaline, saya dah cakap, dia ada OH- minus dalam kelas yang previous. Only OH- minus je kan? Yes, Alia. Only OH- minus is alkaline. H- plus is acid. Okay, now, next. Ada lagi tak? 